Uh, my name is Dale Sandberg and I'm with QOC and today we're talking about the new Amplifier Navigator software version 2.0 for uh, uh, Winter NAM 2015. This is a new software uh, uh, release that will be coming out within a couple of weeks and it provides additional functionality for the PLD and CXD amplifiers. Now what we see on the screen here is a number of different tabs up here. I'm, I'm going to work primarily in the Amplifiers tab that we see highlighted here. If I, if I click on meters, of course, I see my input and output meters. And I can quickly go, and right now I've only got two um, amps connected to this particular uh, PC. This, by the way, is a, actually a Mac. Um, we've got a PC version as well. Um, but if I click on the other uh, amplifier that's connected, you can see that it's kind of highlighted. If I click on either on the inputs or on the inputs tab, it takes me to my inputs here and you can see my uh, my input gain for each of those uh, four four inputs I can also adjust my sensitivity settings if I click on outputs I can see again my four outputs and then I have the ability to adjust the parameters whether it's the uh, high pass filters so I'm going to sweep that down or my or my EQ filters I'm going to take this out of bypass and put a parametric EQ in there make some adjustments you can see that I've got full control. I can also get into my uh, uh, limiter, and in this case, I'm using the, uh, um, the automatic limiter, which makes it very, very easy to dial up your um, loudspeaker uh, limiting. I just select the power threshold, which would be the continuous power for that loudspeaker. So let's say this is a 600 watts um, continuous power loudspeaker. I hit 600, and it sets that limiter for 600 watts. I then just select whether I want aggressive, medium, or mild limiting, and it, uh, and it manages that loudspeaker. Select the impedance, and away we go. I've also got mute for each, uh, each output channel. Finally, if I go to my utility settings, some, one of the cool things is it gives me the ability to take a look at a history of, in this case, this is temperature over the past 10 hours, AC voltage, AC current, Output impedance. Right now, these loudspeakers aren't connect, or these outputs aren't connected to any loudspeakers, so they're kind of be going to be kind of freewheeling in here. But if they were connected, you could certainly see and, and manage those uh, manage those loudspeakers. You've also got total runtime, total runtime, total runtime, AC voltage, current temperature, all the all of the vital statistics here, and. Uh, um, if I wanted to create some presets, so here I can recall different presets. If I wanted to create presets, I could then go click on new, or in this case, I could make some changes here, hit save as, type in a new name, and this is, that's, that's a great preset right there. And I'm gonna save that as user preset one, save preset, and that saves into the, into the amplifier. Yeah, you can see the great name. I can then, go into my preset tab and then select that preset from among the many other presets that I've got here and manage that. I can save it to a custom library in my computer or actually send it to other amplifiers. So I'm going to click on uh, the CXC and I'm going to send it to that other amplifier. Yes. And transfer. And away it goes. So I can manage presets offline and online. I can manage speakers offline and offline just as well. Great new software application, uh, new update for the, uh, for the PLD and CXD amplifiers, uh, version 2.0. Uh, download it within the coming weeks. Thank you.